Hey, welcome to another episode of Super Duper. It's your boy, Poppy Vasquez. And guys, if y'all haven't seen my podcast episode four, please go check that out. Support the channel. Show your homie some love. Um, but in that, I talk about how I'm starting a book club here on Super Duper and how I hope that we can read these books together and talk about them on some lives. And then at the end, I'll do a retelling and a full reaction of what I think about the book. I just finished the book Anna Karenina from Tolstoy and um, that book's amazing. You should see, uh, I'm gonna drop a retelling. So I, I didn't actually start the book club then, I just finished the book, so I'm gonna do the retelling and the reaction here in a video. If you're interested, please subscribe and keep a lookout for that. But in me doing that, I need to pick the next book. And at the end of this video, you will know what book I'm gonna pick and where am I gonna pick it from? From this interview right here, RM the Reader from Days Korea, right? Where he talks about some of his favorite books. And then I'm gonna pick from one of the books. I'm gonna go to my library, I'm gonna get it out. And then we're gonna read, I'm gonna drop the lives and that's why it's important that you subscribe because on, uh, not a, yeah, I'm gonna drop a live, but I'm gonna drop a short talking about when we're gonna talk about the first chapter or maybe the first few chapters, excuse me, I burped. And um, hopefully you guys jump on, we, you know, talk a little bit about it. And then we finish the book and we do the, you know, the retelling and all that, right? Um, but guys, let's get into this. Because uh, I really want to read the great books of all time. I really want to spend my life getting to know what these great authors wrote and what they meant behind what they meant and just really try to internalize everything and talk it with you guys. So without further ado, RM, The Reader by Days Korea. Let's go. RM, The Reader. RM's favorite phrase. Go through this time. Gertrude Stein, the answer. There's no answer. There ain't to be an answer. That's the answer. There's the answer. Wow. Okay. Gertrude Stein. Sounds like a conclusion. That ends. Okay, so it's like a book of poems. Maybe a book of poems is what, what we do. Uh, that's great. Gertrude Stein. Gertrude, 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 Gertrude. I don't know. Stein. Uh, okay, we'll see. This book is about. Okay. Okay. That sounds interesting as hell. Okay, so a whole bunch of artists that, that were really passionate about it. That was a good one. That was a good one. Also, though, uh, how, you know, my boy's got the buzz cut blue hair, which now he has the buzz cut because he's in the army. So, you know, parallels. Crazy. Uh, that's a good one. 최근에 친구한테 추천을 받아서 그 한병철 교수님의 The Arrows 그다음에 알랭바디우의 사랑예찬이라는 책을 같이 읽었는데 사랑에 관한 철학자들의 논쟁 같은 것 굉장히 뭐랄까 사랑이라는 것이 현대 사회에서 어떻게 소모되고 있는지 그리고 우리가 연애를 대하는 태도라든지 그런 거에 대해서 좀 진지하게 다시 한번 고민해 볼수 있는 그걸 읽으면 이제 많이들 좌절하실지도 몰라요. 왜냐면 저희가 하고 있는 사랑은 사랑이 아닐 수 아니라고 얘기하는 책이거든요. 와, 오케이. 우리를 만날 때 재고 이렇게 막 계산하고 이런 것들에 대해서 한번 좀 진지하게 돌이켜 볼수 있게 하는 책들이었습니다. Oh, that's that's interesting. Okay. 네, 고맙습니다. 
So that's interesting about uh, the, the, the love and, and how what your think love is now it might not be. Okay, so that, that's crazy. Is that it? Damn, that's it. Okay. So there's only like, like what, like three books? Let me see. There, there, there's got to be, we're going to look something up right here. All right. So I thought that that video was going to give us more options. I think the three books that this one said, hold up, let me see, was, no, let's go back. It was, oh, it doesn't even say. Well, I'd have to go back to, to, to those books. But so I looked up and Buzzfeed talks about uh, 17 books RM of BTS has read or recommended that you need to know. So let's go through these real quick, right? So number one is Kim Young, Kim Ji Young, born 1982 by Cho Nam Jo, translated by Jamie Chang. Okay. So saying it was thought provoking, follows the life of an average married millennial woman in her, as her sanity, sanity deteriorates in the face of long li long lifelong misogyny. Okay. Human Acts by Hang Kang, translated by Deborah Smith. This uh, in the same uh, November live he read uh, this book by Han Kang Han 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 Kang. Said in nineteen eighty, Guangzhou, South Korea, the book explores topics like humanity, violence, censorship, and more through various narrators in the aftermath of the Guangzhou uprising. Okay, I don't know much about the, that. Uh, Almond by Wan Pyong Song. Um, Jeho is reading this book. Almond follows the story of a boy, young Jay, with a condition called alexithmia which makes it difficult for him to experience emotions like fear and anger. It focuses on the bond and contrast between him and another boy, Gong, who, unlike him, feels too much. That's interesting. Okay, The Stranger by Albert Camus, translated by Matthew Ward. Um, talking about this book, mention is being inspired by Camus' idea of brevity and conciseness in art. The book itself explores philosophy and existentialism through the story of a man who shoots someone after his mother's death. That's interesting. I've heard of Camus. So Damien, Damien. Okay, so let me read this. Uh, uh, Damien is a book that talks about spirituality and self-realization as the protagonist Sinclair finds himself uh, with the help of his classmate, Max Damien. So I actually read the audio book of this. So I'm gonna hold off on Damien for sure. Uh oh, it looks like somebody's here to fix my garage. Okay, we're gonna finish this one later, bye. All right, I'm back. I'm in the garage, garage door was broken. They can't fix it, cool. No, we're back. All right, so, so this next book is A Bigger Message, Conversations with David Hockney by Martin Gayford. And this book presents a series of conversations between art created Martin Gayford and artist uh, David Hock Hockney, filled with both social and artistic insights. The end is a must read for art lovers. All right. Please Look After Mother by Kyung Suk Chin. Um, so, so RMNV discussed this book. Um, so it says, uh, Written in second person and first person narration in parts, the book tells the moving story of Sonyo who gets separated from her husband at a train station and her family who search, f who search for her as they recall memories and realize, excuse me, how they took her for granted. Wow. Metamorphosis for Franz Kafka. I actually read this book, crazy ass book. So we're gonna skip that one. Um, Murakami, uh, so 1Q84 and Norwegian, Norwegian Wood. So I've heard of Murakami, H Haruki Murakami. I've heard of this. Um, 
So he remarked, uh, RM remarked he's a huge fan of Murakami's works and has read many of his books, including Kafka at, on the shore and the, and killing come, come in the tour, come in the tour. Uh, in the press conference for the album, you yourself, her, RM had revealed the hidden track C had been inspired by Murakami's 1Q84. Okay. So, Banana Yoshimoto Kitchen. So, later in the comeback show, RM again spotted in the book, Kitchen contains two short stories about love, mothers, transsexuality, grief, and tragedy. Interesting. Um, Soul of a Tree, a woodman's, a woodworker's reflections by George Nakashima. Okay. But, um, the Soul of a Tree tells us the story of Nakashima who went from Paris to Tokyo to Pondicherry in his search for the meaning of life and how he began to work with a timber. Interesting. So Walden by Thoreau. Uh, the book contains Henry David Thoreau's experience living a life of simplicity and self-reliance for two years in a cabin he built in the woodlands owned by his mentor and friend, Waldo, Rolf Waldo Emerson. Interesting. Nature by Rolf Waldo Emerson. Uh, was the essay where Emerson first laid down the foundation of transcendentalism on paper. Interesting. 1984 by George Orwell. I did read this book, so we'll skip that one. What's going on here? There it goes. Um, the Unbearable Lightness of Being by Milan Kundera. Uh, Okay, it doesn't say what it's about. It just says that he read it. Um, the Noonday Demon, Autonomy of Depression by Andrew Solomon. Um, describes Solomon's own intense experience of depression as well as others and digs into the historical and cultural aspects of the disease. Interesting. Jojo Moyes, Me Before You. Me Before You is a lighthearted yet emotional book about depression, self-discovery, and romance. And that's it. Okay, so let me let me think. What do I, you know? So the one that really there was a couple. So this one, Nature, really stood out to me. Um, let me see. The Murakami, because I've heard good things about him. The, which one was it? The Camus, Albert Camus, The Stranger, and Almond. Almond really stood out to me. And, and so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put in the comments, I'm gonna leave it on you guys, right? But we only have, when I drop the video, cause I need to do the Anna Karenina book, uh, video. And then after that, after I drop the Anna Karenina book review retelling, that's when I'm gonna make a choice and I'm gonna put it on my um, shorts. So you guys need to subscribe so you see that. But we're gonna do between those books, The Stranger by Albert Camus. We're gonna do Murakami, Murakami, right? And I'll leave it up to you which one of these two. Um, do do one A and one B because if Murakami wins, then I'm gonna have to pick which one of the two, right? So, you know, we'll do A IQ84 and B Norwegian Wood. So if you pick Murakami, pick Murakami A or B, which one of the books you want me to do first? And then what do we say? Nature by Emerson or what was the other one? What was the other one? Was that the only three? We'll leave it between those three, those three books. You guys are gonna choose. Leave it in the comments. Let me know which ones you guys think. And then I'll let you know when we're gonna start reading again together, okay? So I, I picked three books. If I don't get any comments, then I'm just gonna pick myself and it's probably gonna be what is available at my library. Um, if not, I'm gonna have to go buy the book. But hopefully it's at my library. But guys, 
Thank you so much. I'm really excited for this. This is going to be exciting. Do you guys think it's exciting? I'm excited because I like to read and then I want to talk about it with you guys. Uh, hopefully my wife gets involved. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But guys, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Um, thank you for coming. Support all my stuff. Watch my reactions. I really appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you so much. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.